Okay, so you know the exercises. We've gone through the instructions. Now this is a routine for you to do at any time. You don't have to do the whole thing. Okay, we're gonna do basically four exercises. We're gonna do four rounds, okay, and four sets. So it's gonna be about uh, 15 minutes or so. Okay, now um, do as many rounds as you've got time for. Obviously, the more you do, the better. And ultimately, if you can do this multiple times during the day, or at least in the morning and in the evening, that's best results. I've got my timer here. I'm gonna talk you through the techniques as we go, okay? And the timer's gonna be here to remind me to keep on track. Okay, so we start on the right leg, start in the start position, which is ankle over knee. And the first move is bringing the knee across to the shoulder. Again, build it up from zero, find that first contraction, 20%. Should just feel nice and easy. And change, hand over the knee, and we're pushing the knee away from us now. Remember there is the uh, introduction to these exercises on a different video, so if you need a little bit more detail, then that's the place to go. This is designed for a little follow along routine. Changing, put the hand under, and drop the leg away. Now we're pushing the foot away from us. This is leg press. Remember you can change the position of this and put it into Hand over knee if that's more comfortable. As long as you've got the action of pressing the leg away. Number four is pushing the knee in towards the chest or pulling the knee up. Again, that first resistance, you only need 20% and 20 seconds. So it's the 20-20 rule. And change legs. Now back in, we're doing the first one, which is knee over body. Or knee to shoulder. It's normal for things to feel a little bit different on each side, so don't worry too much if one's tighter than the other. The idea of this, so we're over, hooking the knee and pushing the knee away from us. Okay, so we've gone from knee to shoulder, and now it's knee away from that direction. That's 20%, under the knee, and leg away. As you can tell already, if you have a timer, it's really handy because you can get through these exercises pretty quickly. Set it as a three second changeover, so about one minute 30 for each leg, for each round, so three minutes times four, give it about 12 minutes, 13 minutes. Again, you don't have to do all the rounds every time. It's quite good just to smash some into the rest of the day and with the timer. Back on this side, this is knee to shoulder. That's one round done already. If you've done that, if you've just got a few minutes and that's what you wanted to do, then crack on. If you've got a bit more time, then you can do a few more rounds. And hooking the hand over, driving the knee away from the body. Again, 20% golden rule. Don't be tempted to overdo it. Sometimes it's worth exploring that and seeing how your body reacts. But you'll often find that a lot of the muscles that we don't really need under to change. But we don't really need start coming into play and spoiling it. Hopefully, as you progress, 
to the routine. You start to feel a bit more comfortable with the exercises and get a little bit more familiar with the sensations. Change into the other leg. Ankle over knee, knee to shoulder. First engagement. Remember with this technique, it's knee to shoulder as well as pushing this ankle into this knee. You can do them all on one side, hook it over and push the knee away. If we do them all on one side, it saves time changing between legs, which is actually makes it a little bit more efficient. When time is of the essence. Good, and leg press. Put that leg away. Remember we're pushing this leg away from us now, so the leg press. You don't have to flatten that bottom leg, you can keep that flat if that's better for you. Again, you can change the position, make it a little bit more suitable for you. And we're going to bring now the knee up to shoulder, leg lift, and the hip flexors. We're addressing the four main movements of the hip here with internal rotation, external rotation, and hip flexion and extension. And back to the first leg, flying through it, round three. This is knee to shoulder. Nice little rotation, internal rotation of the hip. Releasing some of those deep hip muscles that restrict our movement. And we're going knee away. Hook the hands over. A little bit of energy into the hands just to get the muscles around the hip to unlock. They're all sort of therapeutic exercises that are used in, in manual therapy. We're changing, we're going leg press, leg away. And they are bang for your buck, the best exercises you can do to restore normal movement to a joint. They energize a muscle which allows it to come to life and then it relaxes afterwards and it's that relaxation that helps restore the normal movement so movement is the cure. change to the opposite leg. Do what the time might limit me. Don't know where it. Okay, we're winging it now on actual the remembering the timings. So ankle over knee and we're bringing it to the opposite shoulder. It's a brand new timer with a very old battery in it. I thought that was a bit of a risk. But again, I thought we've got a good knack for this with the timing as long as we don't talk too much. And we're going to hook over and push the knee away. going to bring the leg press. I don't like to drop my leg away but you can leave yours flat just pushing the knee away. Obviously a timer is helpful because it keeps you on track when the mind wanders. There are other methods of timekeeping you can apply which includes breath work but we will cover that a bit later on down the track. This is really the introduction 
keeping it nice and simple. So, as always, when you're learning something new, it's best just to get the basics right, and then we can start dressing it up a bit later. Okay, back, last round on the first leg. So we're gonna do uh, knee to shoulder, knee to opposite shoulder. Remember this is the four main movements of the hip. Internal rotation here. Then we're gonna hook the knee and just gently press the knee into the hands. Kind of work in a very similar area to the first exercise, but just in a slightly different way. Always very gentle with ease, and if there's any pain, then of course, cease what you're doing. Knee up, uh, sorry, leg press. We drop that leg, then we push the foot away from us. and knee up. So this, to some degree, whether one, two, three, or four rounds, is now the staple to my daily practice and certainly before any lower body work in the gym. And the difference has made is huge for me uh, in how I feel. And we'll change over, change legs over to the opposite shoulder. And how I feel when I'm doing a squat, which I used to blame on my limb proportions and joint angles and say, well, you know, it's just because I've got long legs, but really that was just a bit of lack of mobility. Now I feel like so comfortable doing the squats. I can, I can see the, uh, the progressions happening quite quickly. And hands over, we're just going to press that knee away. And then leg press, last leg press on this leg. We'll drop that leg away, you can. Some really nice little sensation starts to come in sort of between the glutes and the hamstring or at the back of the leg where it joins your seat. And the last one is knee up. So well done if you've made it for all four rounds. Congratulations, that is the gold standard. Four rounds, four times a day. Treat it like a um, prescription from a doctor and it will work like medicine. So, well done. Thank you for joining me and hopefully see you online or in person for the next session. Thank you.